Precy, a goalless draw on the night at the Leap 76 Stadium here against Chester. What are your thoughts on the game? I thought we really struggled first half. Um, you know, they moved the ball really, really well. Um, I, I just think we were very lacklustre. I don't think uh, we competed physically. Um, mentally, we weren't tuned in. Uh, we kept giving the ball away. Um, you know, they were opening us up um, at will at times. Um, although, when we did make three or four passes, it weren't that very, weren't very often. You know, we looked, we looked like we could, you know, we could threaten, and that was the thing that probably gave me a bit of hope in the second half. Um, but to get in nil nil half time, I was delighted. Uh, they were much the better team. Uh, I probably know now what it's like to be in the in the other dugout uh, on the last, you know, the last two games where. You know, you're just wishing that, you know, and hoping that the ball doesn't go in the back of the net. And, um, you know, we've been in those, you know, the Farsley and the, and the Bracky where we've had chances and, and we've not taken them. Tonight, we're on the other end where, you know, they've had chances, they've opened us up, especially down that, that right-hand side. Um, but, you know, they've not hit the target. And, um, you know, I think Matt has only had two or three saves and probably not a real tough one out of that. So I think they'll be, they'll be bitterly disappointed because um, they've caught us on a on an off day, especially in the first half, um, and they haven't been able to put, uh, punish us. So, delight with the point. Second half was a lot, lot more even, and they didn't create nearly as much. Uh, they had the header against the bar. Um, I wasn't really worried about that. Didn't really look like it was going going in. I think they had a long range, another long range effort, and a couple of long range ones which which didn't hit the target. In between that, we had a lot of balls going across their box, and uh, and could have and could have you know we could have nicked it. Um, so, a bit of character second half, but you know first half was nowhere near good enough. I think we had the chance with Carlton was cleared off the line in the first half, and then the one in the second half, Carlton again, it was somehow deflected over. I think it probably weren't the races at times, but again, definitely were chances to to win the game in the end. Obviously, Matty didn't really have much to do. Um, are those sort of positives we can take going into Saturday against Warrington? Yeah, well, look, definitely the second half performance. Look, there was, they were nowhere near as dominant in the second half. You know, where I don't, you know, tactically, yeah, we had to change a, a couple of things, but they, they weren't massive. Um, it was more mentally and physically. I just, I just don't think we were at the races. You know, and if you're not at the races, at, uh, funny thing, yeah, excuse the pun, at Chester races, but um, then, you know, you, 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 lucky to get away from here with a point. So. A lot of character, you know, and we've had to defend for our lives and we've had to fight and battle. Um, but second half, I, 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 they weren't comfortable at all second half. You know, uh, we could have nicked it and the crowd suddenly went quiet. We quietened them down a bit. We kept the ball a lot lot better. Um, we showed a lot more character. Um, and you've got to do that. Um, so, you know, you, you come you come to Chester uh, and get a point. Um, nine times out of ten, you're going to be happy. Um, to, today, I'm delighted. Just over 2,000 in here this evening, 125 of our fans making the journey down. Hopefully, we'll see them at, at Victory Park on Saturday as well. Yeah, yeah. Look, fantastic. I could hear them, t hear them tonight. You know, even t even when we were struggling in the first half, you know, they were behind the lads. But you know, you, you've, you could feel them in the second half. They felt that something was coming. You know, I felt that we could nick it. Um, don't you know? Don't forget that we've uh, we got um, Willow and Blakey out out tonight. Um, so we've had a you know a more of a makeshift back four. Jack Moore's come in and done fantastically well. Henners has had to play out of position uh, at, at left back. So you know we haven't come up come here with with our strongest team by by uh, by any means. And uh, but the character that they've shown is, is fantastic. And uh, you know it just shows that you know we had. The best 16. Um, you know, look at their. You look at their squad and look at the players that are not even involved. You know, the, there's a big, big difference still. You know, uh, in what what we have and, and what they have. And um, so, I think you know that's got to come into, got to be factored in as, as well. And um, you know, I think that will change over time with the new owners. That will change. We, you know, we'll catch up with with some of these financially. Um, and and if we can do it the way we're doing it at the minute. Then you know when when things start to change, then uh, they'll have to watch out for us.